Welcome to Scrapple TV. This week on Nerd News, we focus on protecting your identity in a futuristic society. Japan's National Institute of Informatics is currently developing the first pair of glasses which prevents facial recognition by cameras. Currently, photos taken without people's knowledge can violate privacy. With the emergence of social networking, photos may be posted online along with metadata, which includes a time and location. However, by wearing this device, you can stop your privacy from being infringed upon. The privacy visor they have developed uses 11 near-infrared LEDs. The lights from these near-infrared LEDs can't be seen by the human eye, but when it passes through a camera's imaging device, it appears bright. The LEDs are installed in these locations because a feature of face detection is that the eyes and part of the nose appear dark, while another part of the nose appears bright. By placing light sources, mostly near dark parts of the face, we've succeeded in canceling face detection characteristics, making face detection fail. Compared with previous ways of physically hiding the face, this technology can protect privacy without obstructing communication. Because this system utilizes the difference in spectral sensitivity between human vision and imaging devices, another method is needed for cameras that aren't affected by infrared light. They are currently researching a visor that doesn't use electricity, but uses reflective material. This makes light from outside look white. That pattern breaks up the feature used in face detection, and it's also very cheap to produce. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei, known for his highly political art, isn't exactly a fan of surveillance cameras. Hans Ulrich Oberis asked Ai to contribute to a do-it-yourself compendium full of projects from artists. Ai designed an anti-surveillance camera apparatus made from everyday objects. His design is centered around a can of spray paint. Paint is highly accessible, inexpensive, and effective. Moreover, it's a perfect gesture in presenting street culture. Squeeze the handle of the bicycle brake bar, and it pulls the string, which pulls the corkscrew arm, which depresses the button on the spray can, which then spray paints all over the offending cameras. Simple, huh? Adam Harvey, a design professor at the School of Visual Arts in New York and an early creator of stealthware, acknowledges the idea of clothing and accessories designed to protect the wearer from detection and surveillance. Combating advances in facial recognition technology and wearable devices like Google Glass create a growing need for products that offer privacy. His work includes hoodies and cloaks that use reflective metallic fabric that he has repurposed to reduce a person's thermal footprint. In theory, this limits one's visibility to aerial surveillance vehicles employing heat imaging cameras. Adam also developed a purse with extra bright LEDs that can be activated when someone is taking unwanted pictures. He created a guide for hairstyling and makeup application that might keep a camera from recognizing the person. This technique is called CV Dazzle. The name comes from a type of camouflage used during World War II to make it hard to detect the size and shape of warships. These designers face a challenge. Although technology has inspired new fabrics and materials, high-tech fashion of any kind has yet to really take off. Most of Mr. Harvey's designs are still concepts and hopes that awareness of his designs might empower you to control your identity a little bit more. I'm Fallon Jawson for Nerd News and please, no pictures. No, no.